Anyways. If you don't film YouTube videos, you don't know the struggle. There's rain dripping outside, airplanes overhead, there's a Sasquatch upstairs. Um, today we are reacting to Madeline Petch's self-care quarantine skincare routine. I didn't know who she was back in January. She was the first person who I ever reacted to. And since then, I have absolutely fallen in love with her, her content, her vegan recommendations, and all the things she does. So if you don't know, or if you're new here, hello. My name is Cassandra Bankson. I'm an expert and have been in the skincare industry for over 10 years, and I've personally struggled with acne for over 15. I'm a medical esthetician, and although I've worked alongside and with both doctors and dermatologists, I am not a physician myself. That being said, I love analyzing, scrutinizing, and learning from other people's skincare routines, and it almost looks like she's using, maybe it's the Ordinary's AHA BHA mask in this one? Not exactly sure, but let's find out by pressing play. This has been a very strange week for me. I don't know why, it just wasn't like my favorite week that I've ever been alive. You know, it's like one of those like kind of weird weeks. It's been like a weird year to be alive. <laughs> Same. I wanted to show you how I A, boost my mood and B, take care of myself when I feel like I need a little extra self-love. So I'm gonna tone my face a little bit with Renee Rouleau Moisture Infusion Toner. She always tells me that there should still be some residue on my skin. I also wanna preface I am by no means a skincare expert, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not a professional. I just picked up things while being on set from my facialists, from my dermatologist, and I feel like I know what works for my skin sometimes. I change constantly in what I like to use, so um, take this all with a grain of salt. I just thought we could hang out and like do some skincare together and chat. It's not that deep. She loves Renee Rouleau, and I think that it works very well for her. As she mentioned, it's really not that serious, and I hope that everyone who watches these videos knows I'm never critiquing a person, but their choices in skincare products, because for me, it's an interactive and a fun way to learn and have these discussions. Her skin looks like, you know the glaze that they put over some of those like French biscuits? Like she always just has this glaze, ever since I've watched her videos from January at least, she always has this glaze to her. And um, you know, she's doing something right. She's wearing SPF every day. So that's, that's a big plus. <laughs> When we look at this Rene Rouleau Moisture Infusion Toner, the ingredients are actually halfway decent. We have water, propanediol, we have cyclopentasiloxane. We do have some black cumin seed oil and dimethicone. And again, this does have a lot of that water and propanediol, so it's very liquidy, but if this were in a thicker formula, this would make a great moisturizer. What I do love to see in here is that we have both niacinamide and vitamin C. We do have different phospholipids, so this actually, again, I haven't touched it, but it almost looks like it's more of an essence than it is a toner. Um, for $45, $43, it's a little bit expensive. Um, I know that she's loved the elderberry one in the past. Um, for me, I don't know. I would pay the money if I had it, but like if I had student debt or other things to pay, I would definitely prioritize that first because there are a lot of good K-beauty essences that I would have a similar kind of texture and feel. Um, but obviously, like she said, you apply, you leave a little bit of residue because it does have kind of that dimethicone feel, and it probably creates a wonderful little layer of added moisture for her. And if you don't like the way that I do my skincare, then just don't do it like that. Um, this is strange. And this one's definitely gonna trigger some people, but I have a high frequency machine. My facialist uses it on me a lot. It kills bacteria, it's it's something that I really love. I even love the smell of it, and on a night like tonight, I just wanna spot it up. Spot it up, yes! So this is super cool, and for people who get triggered, this is one of the treatments that is done in office that you can do at home. Um, this high frequency machine is also called a Tesla current, or a Tesla machine, um, and it is really good for blemishes because it's basically shooting electricity into the skin. My favorite treatment with the Tesla wand or the high frequency machine is for acne um, because it has been shown to help with killing bacteria that lives inside the skin. Essentially, there's this big glass probe and you can actually switch out the probes and have different shapes if you wanna do the scalp, if you wanna do the face, etc. And there's gas, uh, specifically argon or neon gas within the probes. And this electricity is conducted through that and then delivered to the skin. It can also help a little bit with um, penetrating products into the skin deeper and maybe collagen stimulation. And again, it's advised that you
you have a license to use it, but this is one of those treatments that at home, it's really hard to mess up, right? And as long as you understand your pain tolerance and you're doing skincare responsibly, um, like you said, it's a really good way to do an at-home facial. Not all devices are created equal. I've seen a lot of really scammy ones on Amazon, on like Facebook ads. Uh, those I do not recommend. There are some that are actually calibrated properly that would be used in a professional clinic. Um, and if you're trying to get the same results at home, if you buy one of the crappy ones, you're not gonna hurt yourself, I don't think, unless you like short circuit your face. But I would definitely make sure that you're going with a reputable brand because if you're going to spend the money on something, you want it to at least work. And I don't know what brand she has here, but if somebody recognizes it, please leave it in these comments so that we can check it out. You can do it in different ways. My facialist in Vancouver likes to put serum on my face. My facialist in LA likes to just cover it with gauze when she does it for me. I got one of these on Amazon once and it literally shocked me when I got it. I don't recommend. So, okay, I guess she did get a bad one that shocked you. Um, and again, it is a high frequency, so it is electricity, it is a shock, um, which is why I guess, like, should you have a license? Maybe, but I don't think it's illegal to not have a license and to do this, because you're not cutting the skin or like trying to re-suture, you know, an avulsion. <laughs> the serum, the gauze, both good ideas, again, as long as it conducts that electricity. And I believe that when you use them, you are supposed to have a layer of something like a sheet mask or gauze over the skin, just to protect the skin a little bit more. And again, you want that product to get penetrated even deeper than it would normally. So she is doing a great job, but the one thing you notice, she does have her hand kind of on the top. The electricity and the current might be going to her face, but it might also be flowing into her fingers. And again, your body can act as like a conductor system as well, um, because your body can conduct electricity. And to prevent you from shocking yourself or someone else, you are supposed to have your finger on the glass, and then you release once you make contact with the skin, uh, or with the hair, or with wherever. Uh, but you are supposed to let that off. So maybe she could find a piece of gauze that sits on it nicely, or a different probe that has like a better shape or just do it over a sheet mask. Um, she's probably not getting the full benefits, but it's probably helping her to not go shucky shucky. So that's always a good thing. I love this little machine. I have one in LA and I have one in Vancouver. I love the smell of high frequency. I love that she says this. I am super weird, but I totally agree. It doesn't smell like burning hair, but it smells like something. I, I can't describe it, but it almost smells metallic, and I really, really love it. I don't know how to describe it either, uh, but I'm so glad that I'm not the only one. <laughs> I typically get breakouts on my chin and my forehead, so I really focus the high frequency on those areas. Anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about, so I'm just rambling about skin stuff. How are you doing? Did you have a good week this week? Are you happy? Are you finding ways to stay sane through all the changes that the world has gone through? Skincare is self-care, and when I do my skincare routine, it's almost meditative or extraordinarily relaxing for me, and it's a great time to check in with yourself. I got some good news about some medical tests for myself. Um, I got some good news in the work sphere. So yeah, I'm having a good week. Thank you for asking, I appreciate. We're gonna go into my peel. Now, when I first started the show, I was terrified of peels. I tried Renee Rouleau's Triple Berry Smoothing Peel. This is not by any means sponsored. I just genuinely love this. <laughs> I'm just smearing a bunch of blood all over my face. I, in the thumbnail, thought this was the Ordinary's AHA BHA peeling solution, but again, she loves Renee Lebrillo. Let's see what's in this and let's see uh, what, what it is. Triple berry smoothing peel. <gasps> you know what? This is more expensive. But this actually looks like a peeling solution 2.0. Look at these ingredients. The Ordinary has like AHA and BHA, but this has mandelic acid, this has lactic, this does have salicylic, tartaric, and malic. So a huge range of AHA acids and your BHA. We have blueberry extract uh, with anthocyanins, excellent. They also give a lot of color to fruits and plants and flowers and things. Um, we have raspberry fruit, excellent. Pomegranate extract, excellent. Bromian, strawberry fruit, wow! So when we look at this, it looks like a hydrating mask. The first ingredient is actually raspberry fruit that they've obviously preserved in a very good way. We have glycerin and water, so the reason it probably looks like coagulated blood is because it's literally probably pureed raspberry. We do have orange, we have radish root ferment filtrate, which is acting as a preservative in this. Oh, we have grape. The one thing is that at the very bottom there is some red mandarin orange oil. Um, that could be a little bit irritating to some people, um, as well as grapefruit peel oil. But other than that, if you're okay with those two fragrancing ingredients, 
this looks really, really cool. I know it's more expensive, but I feel like this would be a different texture. It looks smoothing. It says it's the best chemical peel to use at home to dramatically smooth visible skin damage, lift brown spots, and clogged pores. I wish I knew the exact percentage of AHAs and BHAs, um, but Madeleine, I think that you just made me add to my cart. I'm actually gonna click, I have this little app called Shop Tagger that tells me when things go on sale, so I just added it to my list. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm excited about this one. I usually just get my teas on. Oh good, my battery's dying. Well, I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes anyway, so. Hopefully I have a non-dead battery. I love face masks. I love chemical peels. Like they are so fun. You need to patch test and tread carefully. Um, but it's like my favorite part of a routine. I just, I feel so fancy when I put them on. I don't know. I love it. And she looks great in one too. I don't know. I, I like making it look like I put blood all over my face. Why not? Why not? Well, while we let this just open up those pores and extract all that nasty gunk out that my week has given me. I love scrubbing my lips, and if any of you guys have seen my Vogue video, which I will link up above, I have like a little lip scrubber that I actually left in Los Angeles and I'm really sad about it, Nurse Jamie, it's the best thing on the planet. But when I don't have that, I use the Lush Lip Scrub. This one's in the flavor Cherry, surprise, surprise. You can eat it, it's just sugar. I know the feeling, those Lush scrubs, I've eaten those. I think I Instagrammed about eating those once. Yeah, life before COVID, right? It was during New York Fashion Week. I admit, it was like the Santa scrub too, it was like a holiday one. Man, life before COVID, right? <laughs> Another thing I love is body lotion. Little known fact. Sometimes I get keratosis polaris, which is those little bumps on the back of your arms, I feel like it's incredibly common, but mine have gone away because I actually use this Whitehead Power Liquid. I got it on Ulta, I think. It used to make me incredibly insecure as a kid. If you really want to make a mistake, put it just straight on your arms. Like I did the first time I used it and my arms were bright red for like a week and a half, which is almost worse than you're just drawing attention to it, right? I'm so happy she brings this up. KP or keratosis pilaris is definitely a normal condition. Um, it happens here, but it can happen on other areas of the body, like the legs as well. Um, and it's basically your hair follicles are creating too much keratin. It's that protein um, that makes up our hair and our skin, and it creates too much of it in the follicle and it doesn't exfoliate off. And so it's not goosebumps, but it looks like you always have goosebumps. And she's totally right. The best thing you can do for it is use an exfoliator such as salicylic acid. This one that she's using is an AHA. It's the seven whitehead power liquid uh, from COSRX. This is excellent. I feel like I could get it cheaper on Wish Trend or Style Vana or Yes Style, but it is here at Ulta. We start with apple fruit water. We have glycolic acid, which is that AHA. We have niacinamide, sodium hydroxide, sodium hyaluronate, hexanediol, all very good things. This is an excellent product. This is basically an acne toner, but literally any acne toner, a uh, Paula's Choice BHA toning liquid solution would be great here. Um, anything with salicylic acid is really going to help. And I'm so happy that she's found something that works for her. And I still have like five minutes left of my mask, so I'm gonna do my legs. And lastly, while this is on, I'm gonna put a little lip oil on my lip. It's just so relaxing to watch someone else relax. I don't know, I love it. <laughs> Let's chat. I'm sure you noticed that I took like a pretty large leave of absence from YouTube during the quarantine, and I really just came back recently with my morning routine video in quarantine in Vancouver. I edit everything myself, so if I know that I have a lot on my plate. Uh, where was I going with this? I'm surprised that she's able to do all this editing by herself. Her editing is really good. It's cheeky, it's fun, it's cute. Um, I relate and I appreciate. But let me tell you, every single finished minute of video takes about an hour in pre-production. From me sitting down to film, to creating the graphics that you see on screen, to make sure that I cite my sources and different ingredient lists in the bottom tab, uh, to actually editing it and uploading it and cutting it like six different times. And yeah, it's a labor of love. But you know what? I don't suffer from addiction. I enjoy every second of it. <laughs> ah, yes, found my train of thought. So if I know that I've got a lot on my plate and I don't have time to edit, I typically won't take a video on. But I also feel like breaks are important. She has become such a brat. 
Well, my 10 minutes is up. I'm gonna wash this thing off. We're gonna do some more things to my face. I actually had a great week. I just feel like this weekend I've just been like tired. I woke up at like noon today. Oh, thing. Let's do the next day. What is the next step? This is the Rapid Response Detox Mask. I love this stuff and it feels so good. In fact, I put it in the fridge sometimes for an extra little kick. I love refrigerating or even heating my skincare sometimes. It gives you such a sensorial experience. Um, whether it's a regular fridge in the kitchen that you have to walk all the way upstairs to go get, or whether it's just your skincare fridge that you keep in your bathroom or by your bed, um, it's definitely something fun. If you haven't tried, 10 out of 10. Would do again. Highly recommend. If you will. I'm going to leave this one on for I usually do 20 minutes, but today I'm just feeling 10 minutes. So this face mask, again from Renee Rallo, is definitely expensive at 65 bucks, but I love, it looks like it's actually made for acne. It says for sensitive skin to clear hormonal blemishes, and Renee Rallo has some of the best acne products for cystic acne that are over the counter and like slightly luxurious. I would call this line prestige, not luxury, but I like a lot of their things, and if you have the money for it, it's really good. This specifically has tea tree oil, which we know can be antibacterial and antimicrobial. We do have a 2% salicylic acid complex. We do have allantoin, amazing for anti-inflammatory purposes. Sodium hyaluronate, which is hyaluronic acid, holds onto water, brings it into or closer into the skin, especially since this product is formulated properly. We do also have some of that raspberry. We have some black currant oil. This seems really, really good. We do also have glycerin in there, which is why it's kind of like that lightish clear color and very hydrating. Um, I'm happy it works for her. And again, Adding it to my little list of when does it go on sale, please tell me so that then I can throw my money at it, but save like hopefully 20%. Yeah. Okay, your timer is set for 10 minutes. You know what I hate? I hate that feeling of, I hate that. And I also hate that feeling when you've got a mask on and your hair. Anyways. If you don't film YouTube videos, you don't know the struggle. There's rain dripping outside, airplanes overhead, there's a Sasquatch upstairs. Um, there's like freaking ambulances and cars going by all the time. You have no idea how long YouTubers just sit in their chairs or like me on the floor waiting for the external noise to calm down. It is, it is, it is so problematic. Having a cat meow at you because they want to play and they're outside the door begging to be let in. When you've got a mask on and your hair gets stuff on it. Really gross. I'm gonna put this nighttime serum in my hair. I put a lot of it in. I'm gonna have it on for like five minutes while just rub it in. I mean, they're supposed to do this, but it just feels good. I worked with Aveda like a year ago. Their scents are so gorgeous. This is one of their aromatic body oils, and I just love this scent. She's not gonna say it, but I will. Macaroni in a pot! Smells like a spa. Spot up. And on nights like tonight. Oh, also, this is Serena. I wanted to talk about this. And she never finished that train of thought. I think it's so important to note that skincare is self-care, and again, the sensorial experience is so important. I know back in January, she was using doTERRA, which is not only an MLM, but like, oh my God, straight up essential oil on your face. Like, please stop. Um, it almost killed me on the inside. And again, we haven't gotten all the way through the video, but I'm so happy she hasn't done that yet. And Aveda is an amazing line. They formulate well. Great way to get a nice scent in there to relax, do skincare, you know, but not destroy your epidermis. <laughs> I'm feeling so much better. Mommy, I just got a haircut and you're not even showing the world me. Look, say hi, Phil. Am I the world's most annoying mom? <laughs> what a wild Saturday night. The busier I get, the more I cherish my weekends. Anyways, this little friend here was going to be a cystic pimple, but I found it so quickly and started using my little pimple patches, which I wear all the time in videos, and try to cover up what you guys probably noticed. This is like my favorite thing on the planet. So I have a couple different kinds that I like. These are the Peter Thomas Roth. They're clear, they're great, these worked well. Skin Iceland blemish dots are the same thing, they also work well. I used to use these exclusively, but they're really hard to get now, so I love the Peter Thomas Roth as well. And then I also found the COSRX ones, and these are like hydrocolloid. Hydrocolloid hydro hydro -colloid patches. I haven't had as much success with these. I know they're supposed to actually pull out the pus inside of your pimple. That's something that I love when I, I want to do my full skincare routine but still have to see people and like, go out in the world. I went to dinner with Skeet last night and I wore one of these out. They're so cute. They're like these little 
flower ones, and they're still pimple patches, they still work incredibly well. And then put it right over. That's so cute! I saw, what was her name? Uh, was it Barbara, who also used these little flower ones? Like Madeline said, a lot of these pimple patches are very similar. Some of my favorites, again, most are hydrocolloid patches. Cosrx is good, Curology is good, Pacifica even has an Acne Warrior one now. Um, Hero Cosmetics is great. One of my favorites is Zitsticka, and that's a little bit different because they actually have micro darts, like little tiny, not needles, but kind of needles that actually puncture the pimple and they dissolve inside of the pimple, and they can help to get rid of bacteria. Those are my favorite. I live for those. Um, but any of these pimple patches usually work pretty similarly. I bet they have different active ingredients. Um, I'm so happy that she has found such cute ones. And you know what? If she and Barbara recommend the little flower ones, I might have to get some of the little flower ones. I'm sure some of you are going to tell me that I put way too much shit on my face, but I just felt like it tonight. This is Active Serum from IS Clinical. I've had so many people tell me to use this stuff. I watched Cami do this once on an airplane and now it feels more legit when I do it like this. She mentioned this is clinical or IS clinical serum. Unfortunately, I don't know which serum she's talking about. There's a C15 serum, there's a Hydrocool serum, there's a vitamin serum. Overall, this brand is a good brand. Um, it's a little bit pricey, but it's worth it. More lip oil on. This is the gift that keeps on giving. It feels like it's going to be full forever. We're gonna go in with the Skin Correcting Serum. I alternate different serums all the time. I wanna know what the product is though. Does anybody know? Can anybody tell me? Does anybody recognize it? Skin Recovery Lotion, also from Renee. This is a cool moisturizing lotion. It is technically oil-free, and it says it's made for sensitive skin. Uh, we do have a patented molecule in here. We have sodium hyaluronate, we have panthenol, all very good things. The one thing is that it said oil-free, but we do have orange peel oil and citrus or grapefruit oil. These are probably used for the scent, so it's not a big deal, um, but it's not totally oil-free. Um, I do like the ingredients in this. It is a good one. Uh, it's just not my first choice. We have some subtle exylhethanoate, we have glycerin, we have propanol, and dial, all very good things. We have xylitol, which is good. Um, yeah, it's halfway decent. It's just that for my skin, I wouldn't spend my money on it. Um, but I'm so happy that it works for her. I know eye cream is like more of a personal preference and not a necessity to your life in any way, shape, or form, but I just like it. I am so happy that A, she knows this and is not, you know, swindled by the marketing of companies trying to get her to spend money, and that B, she knows what she likes and what her skin needs and still decides to use one because it makes her life better. Finally, an intelligent and empowered consumer who does it right. If you don't know why I hate eye creams and the marketing and the industry behind them, we have filmed a video right here. I'll also link it down below. Please watch this. But there are so certain instances, like in her case, when if you understand these things and you still want to use an eye cream for makeup application, for self-care reasons, or for a couple of other things, there is a reason to do so um, if you want a different texture. So we can do a video on that in the future, um, but I am just feeling so relaxed. I'm feeling so relieved. I haven't put anything on my skin and for some reason I feel freshly moisturized um, by the knowledge and the wisdom coming from this woman's beautifully cherry-stained lips. Yes, this is what I needed today. I have a bunch of like little tiny red marks on my face that are from previous breakouts. I actually have this great product, Fading Gel. I don't know exactly what it does, but I put that all over my full head. Does anybody know what the Fading Gel is? I want to know what it is. If you struggle with hyperpigmentation, if you use something like Alpha Arbutin, if you use Vitamin C, Licorice, Kojak Root, all of those can be very helpful. Um, hydroquinone you can get from your doctor. You know, but people who get these little dark marks left behind by pimples, uh, they can be frustrating. So I'm happy that she's using something for that. But I put that all over my full head. <laughs> Wow, I needed that. And I'm so happy I got to do it with you guys. It's like it made me feel like I have some friends with me, which is so nice. I think a huge thing that I can attest my skin to as well is drinking a shit ton of water. Huge water bottle. Look at it compared to my head. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. It was actually quite fun to just like chill and do some skin 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 scare. Can you tell I'm excited for October? Um, oh, Halloween, I love Halloween. Wow, 
Please get back on track. Well, that is all of my epidermis covered in lotion and beauty products that I probably don't need and shouldn't mix, but do anyways. That was fun. We should do it again sometime. Bye. I mean, we checked in at the beginning of the week, and yes, it's been a good one, but I feel like this just made it so much better. I feel relaxed. I didn't do anything to my skin, but it felt like I just put on a face mask or something. Um, I needed this, and I sincerely hope that Madeline decides to do this again, and we get to do this again. Um, and I'm so happy she's so skin intellectual, and I'm also so happy that she uses a high frequency machine, because I haven't seen, I haven't reacted to anybody else who has, and it gives us the opportunity to chat about it. So if someone can help me track down the other products she uses, please leave them in the comments below so that I can do a little bit of digging and look into those ingredients lists. Uh, but overall, this was a perfect routine, perfect self-care, perfect fun, um, and a really good testament to doing things that make you feel great and that, you know, everyone's skincare is unique for different reasons. I am just so happy that my philosophies tend to align with hers. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I love you guys so much. If you want to see me react to her initial video where I found out about her existence, you can watch that right here. And if you want some more information on those little flower dots, here's reacting to a model who also uses them along with a $400 cream. Always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. Make sure that, that like button is hit and make sure that you are subscribed and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.